Welcome to Season 2 of Gaming with Scott Presents Marvel Super Heroes, a Southgate Media Podcast. Join us each week as our intrepid heroes follow a path of adventure and attempt to save the world and each other from the dangers of the universe. Starring Martin Davis, Josh Elliott, Dan Gentry, Josh Jackson, and Rico Suarez, with me, Scott Troiano, running the table as the judge. Galactic adventure and titanic struggles await you just beyond this music. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming with Scott. I am here with Josh. Hey. Dan. Hey, y'all. Rico. Yo. And our special guest, Margo Philippi. Good evening. Woo, mm. look at how she sounds all professional and serious and wonderful. It's beauteous. I love it. Um, Margo's going to be playing a character for us this evening. We don't know who she is yet or what she's doing. Well, but I hope you do. But we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we. I hope she does, too. I have no idea. I'm just making it up as I go along. Yeah, she's just going to wing it. Okay. She's going to be like, Isn't that what you do? Yeah, and it always sounds amazing. Right. right? <laughs> Thank so you, we'll Rico. be fine. And we will be, no, then we'll be fine. Oh, you were worried. I hear. I get it. I get it. I thought you had a plan. If you had a plan, we were going to have a problem. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we, we have a problem. Okay, so. Shh. All right, Rico, where were we when no, last we, we left our erstwhile adventures? I have no idea. <gasps> Are you serious? No, that's a filthy lie. I know oh, exactly I was like, I was like, what? I was like, wait, this is the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> Holy Christ. Yeah, so, okay. uh, Jimmy Boy and Fenris and Guardian Angel had been transported to Jodenheim on the Bifrost Bridge. And uh, we were infiltrating the um, Frost Giant Castle because we were on a quest for Fenris to get... Are, are you uh, sure it wasn't the Ice Troll? No, it wasn't an Ice Troll. You Shut jerk. up. Jerk. Okay. Frost giants. Yes. You know, like Loki. Mm-hmm. Frost giants. Well, he's only a half frost giant, but anyway. To get <sighs> a, uh, the head of an axe that Fenris needed to complete a quest. Wasn't it two heads? It was. It was. Yeah. It was. I figured that would it be It was a double ended axe. So double, uh, we double successfully headed. snuck into the, like one guy on the frost internet. giant castle. And um, we had stealthed our way through it pretty ingeniously, actually. It was. I'm so glad I came <laughs> up with the plan. Don't gloat, Rico. We're going to screw it up. If you it gloat. was really good. And we had found the first part of the axe that we were looking for. Mm-hmm. And when last we left where, off... Where did you find it? It's in the throne room. A throne room? Yep. The What's, I, what, Okay, so the, there's... The frost giant throne room that's inhabited by the... Queen and I don't know how many fifty, sixty a guards. Lot. More, a lot more than we can deal with. That's very well lit. I don't know if it's more than you can deal with. I don't want. I don't want to test it because Rico's pretty OP. Ball. He's a tank. No, no, I'm yeah. not because I took mad damage from that big giant mammoth thing. You did, and I haven't recovered yet. Well, there's that. Yeah, and I took mad damage from having my skin removed. Yeah, that happened too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well. So, Fenris, you have not taken mad damage yet, and you're a tank, so we're all good. So, <laughs> sick em. We talked to this. We talked about this two years ago. You go sick get him, boys. Sick go get him. Go get him. So, you have found the throne room. How? Okay, where are you located currently? Are you right outside the throne room, looking down the nope, hall? Are we you? are up above the floor, the throne room, one level above ceiling. the throne room. So you're above the ceiling. So yep. you're Ish. in the next floor up. Yep. Ish. All right. And what are you guys doing? Well, we're going to formulate a plan. To get the part of the axe that we need stealthily, if we can, to avoid a fight and a confrontation with the frost giant queen, king, and entire royal well, guard. One of the pieces, yeah. Hopefully, uh, everything's in the front throne room, but it's probably not. Who knows? Yeah, we'll I, find I out. I know. Yeah. Oh, Too I easy. know. <laughs> You're like, who knows? I do. Too easy. Yeah. So, uh, the, there we were. There we were. There and, we uh, okay. Um, there we were. Jimmy Boy looks kind of cold, but he's, he's looking better. Your skin is growing back. Oh, that's good. You guys, uh, give me, both of you give me an intuition roll. Rico and uh, Fenris. So Guardian Angel I'm sorry, and Fenris. Guardian Angel and Fenris. That would be Rico and, and Joshua. 40 on a 50, I think. That's, that's a green. Okay. 68 on a 75. Oh, that's a green. That's a yellow. Okay. Both of you are, are you, you had looked through, you had, you had gone, oh, the axe head is right there, pulled back up, 
And you, as you go to regroup, you recognize Jimmy Boy's skin is like growing noticeably. Noticeably. Like you can see it almost knitting itself back onto him. Okay. So as I'm as I'm half an inch tall, remember I'm still yeah, right. True. Yeah, and it's it's <clears throat> that vis- even even there, it's like yeah. patches are growing, and I, you're going like, wow, he's also okay, what the really hell is really this? small too. No, 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 no. He just reached him yeah. down and went, um, okay, there yeah. you go. I'm so, gonna I'm going to quietly pull uh, Jimmy Boy back up through the to the ceiling. Yeah, and just how the hell are you growing back skin like that? Don't, and this how yours grows? No. He's a regenerator, Wait, man. Fur. Yeah. I, was, I don't know. Hey, it's hey. just how I always healed. It's, it's how robots heal, man. They robots. just oh, niche them, okay. stitch themselves back do together. Do I still weigh the same amount as I do? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. You got 500 pounds on your tip of your finger. I work out. Bu- it's all right. He's a demigod. Out, he's buff. Come on. He's half god. So, uh, okay. No, so I ain't a robot, but whatever. I have an idea. Uh oh! What's your idea? How we can get this Ostrich. this axe head stealthily? He's got yeah. Okay. Monsters What's your idea? People. I got a couple. Get the well, ends. <laughs> let's hear yours first. <laughs> He's all. Right. I got a couple. I uh, I gotta take a piss. I'll be right back. Jimmy no, 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 off. Jimmy, Jimmy. No. Jimmy starts to wander no, off, and Fenris on, plucks on, him up. He's on my hand. He plucks you. He's like <laughs> you're like. He, he, oh, 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 oh! He got you. Okay. Jimmy, you don't wait. wander off. Okay, I'll piss on your hand. That's then. fine. That's fine. I'm used to it. What? <laughs> no, stop. Oh, go ahead and do it. Yes, yeah, that's fine. So there, okay. are, there are those torches down there, there keeping that throne room well lit. Yeah. So it would be yeah. really hard to sneak in there with all the light. Agreed. What if you whirlwind and blow all the torches out? Were they torches or was it some other No, it was torches. It was torches. It was okay. torches. We could do I that. I remember total memory. Okay. Hey. Just to make sure. <laughs> you were such hey. a jack wagon. I, I can make those bastards fall through the floor if you want. No, we don't, we don't want to cause a fight. Well, whirlwind inside a castle... No, you're going to create the whirlwind down in there to blow I, out the torches. I got that. You're not going to whirlwind them to do any damage. It's like a start of a horror movie. Also, they're, like giant, they're giant. They're giants. They're freaking frost giants. I don't think your little whirlwind that we need strong enough to blow out the torches is even going to be more than a fart to a frost giant. I hope it smells better. All right. Please. So after the torches get put out, yeah. then I can slither down Ooh. in the, the 2D form that I've been taking. And then wrap around the axe handle or the axe head and bring it back up. Then we will have the the uh, the shaft of the axe. And we'll have one half of the axe head, and then we can just ionize this wall and jump down the side of the castle, but into the snow below. That's only one head. We need to, it, there's two parts to it. Right. You got the handle. You got but two. There's only this one head in this castle. How do you know that? What? That was, no, that wasn't a thing. No. He didn't He it's didn't all, source it. Uh, he, di- he said he didn't feel I a... Did, I did the magic detection. Yeah. Using the axe handle as the guide. And Are you only sure? Found, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I was pretty sure when I stealthed this all the way up here, slithering up the walls. Can you check again? I mean, probably. After we get this first piece, if we could do that really quick, that'd be great. I think we should have a distraction outside the room, too, don't you think? Why? To get him to get out of the room? No, we don't need them to get out of the room because it'll be dark. We need them we to stay in the room. Once yeah, we can do this under the cover of darkness. All right. I can do that. What about Jimmy? Jimmy's got to have something to do. Jimmy's going to lick it. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Jimmy's, you're going to pull the axe handle back, and Jimmy's going to go, that's an axe yep, handle. That's like, an like that's, axe that's an axe blade. No, that's an okay idea. Let's, we can do that. What was your idea? What was your idea? What was your idea? Oh, one of mine was to utilize one of the uh, one of the mammoths outside. Actually, get the baby, put it in the castle, and let Mama go uh, go to town on the castle. <laughs> Big ass distraction, and we can do our business while they're fighting a mammoth or two. I, I like al- his idea. I could also enlarge it too, so it could cause more damage. Yeah, see, right there. And if you want to get theatrical, which I know Jimmy does, as Fenner's points to Jimmy. We can whirlwind the baby up to the top of the castle. Right. And let Mama Bear go a little crazy down there and see what I'm happens. I'm sorry, Mama. Your baby's in a different castle. She can smell it. I have no doubt. Anyway. That was rub the baby all over the castle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Now, my two cents. Yours is much cleaner. Yeah, it really is. No, no, it is. Hey, here's the thing. If, if we do yours and it doesn't work per se, we could still do mine. Absolutely. Plan B is Rampaging Mammoth. 
I'll sign off on that. All right. I'm good to go. Well, we'll call it Plan 8.5. Plan 8.5? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. All right. There it is. All right. Maths much? All right. Let's do this. Crazy, stupid robot brain. All right. What are we doing? Uh, okay. So the f- the hole is still in the, f- uh, in the floor, in yep. corporeal, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Ionized. Uh, Ionized. Yep. Ionized. Um, Rico, you're going to, well... You gonna jump in after I do the whirlwind and make sure the lights? No, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay two dimensional and slither down and wrap my body around the axe handle and then pull it up to us. Good stuff. Okay, then I am going to do whirlwind down there to try to blow out the different torches. Okay. Quick question: Does two D Slitherman look like the little heartless from Kingdom Hearts? Circa 2005. He's not little. Um, <laughs> the he's gonna look like a shadow on the wall. So think more Nosferatu with wings. Yeah. How sh- dark a shadow? Wait for it. <gasps> We're not there yet. Okay, you've got the floor incorporeal. Yes. But so you cannot see your target to whirlwind. We got it. We had a section of the floor ionized. Right, ionized. Yeah, so you can down. move through it. You can move through it, but you, you can't can, see through it. You cannot see through it. It's so, still like a table, but you can put your hand through it if you wanted to, but you can't see through the table. He's right. So I'd have to, I'm guessing, shrink, go down there, be in the room, and do it. I approve. Now, Thanks, Jimmy. Now, you also know that once you go down through the room, you would have to let go of your ionization to fire up your whirlwind. Yep. Unless you power feed it like a boss. If you let go of the ionization while someone's got their arm going through the ionized floor, that could be bad for them. That could be very bad. Like your arm goes, you and the arm fall into the middle of the thing. I'm being generous and letting you know that's not the best case scenario. We should probably, if we're going to do it like you're talking about, Guardian Angel, we should probably go down a, a flight of stairs and find an entrance to look through in this room. Because I'm going to have to drop this to, to do uh, drop the ionization. Why don't you just remove sections of the ice till it's thin enough to where you can see through it? Because they'll probably know if something's clicking at the ceiling of the room that they're in. Trying to Meaning, the translation, Fenris is paranoid right now. Okay. Okay, okay, You okay. know what, you guys, I'm, okay. just, I'm just going to take a nap. You let me know when you got a I trans- have, Fenris, I have an idea. You're hilarious. Okay. What, I have a what? brilliant idea. Well, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I'm going to need your permission to do this. Oh, no. Whoa, <laughs> where are you touching me on the doll? Stop this. What are you talking about? I think I know what you're going to do. What are you, I'm going to share I know my remote sensing with you. You're going to what? You're gonna share my remote sensing with you so you can see into the room to whirlwind af- gonna- after dropping the ionization. You'll be able to see into the room even though the floor is not ionized. It's a thing he did to me that made me fall down the hole. Yeah, <laughs> that drove him nearly mad. No, this is horrible. No. <laughs> there's no brilliant. hole for you to fall down. You'll be fine. Yeah, there's no hole for you to fall down. You'll just have to <laughs> just stay there. You'll be able to I see what I see. I suggest having a seat first. It's a little trippy. Like when I licked. Uh, no, this sounds horrible. It'd be fine. It just, just, why'd you even warn him, man? Now he's all like reclimped about it. You should have just done it like you Yeah, you shouldn't have warned him. You should have just done <laughs> it. What? So just go ahead and do it. All right. If, I, I can't see. You'll be fi- Trust me. Do I can't, I, I can't would this see face her. lie to you? <laughs> I'm going to act like that comment didn't happen. <laughs> Fenris turns to Guardian Angel and says, I don't know how to do how this is going to go, but all right, I can't see myself. So, No, you won't be able to see yourself. You'll be able to see what I see. Okay, as long as we don't get, like, bonded or docked together and it gets all weird. Okay. No, it oh, won't he be said docking. Like that. That's horrible. Yeah. All right, is so it? I'm going to put my remote sensing on the ceiling. I don't know. Have you ever tried it? Of okay. the throne room. Okay. Let me let me roll that. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Okay. What's your remote sensing? Uh, Seventy-five. Oh, nice. All right. Seventy on a seventy-five. 70? Is that a yellow? Yeah, that's yellow. Yeah. Yes, it is. All okay. Right. So now I have. So my now you can see into the entire ceiling. I can see. Yeah. We can see down into the throne room. You can see down in the throne room. Well, I can see down Correct. into the throne room. And now I need to share this with Fenris like I did with Jimmy and like I did with Dr. Wells, tapping into my cosmic awareness. That is correct. And sharing it with you so you can see what and I see. And blunt forcing it into Fenris. And this is how I get 
What? The this ger- is how you'll be able this to see you into get the room. A nosebleed and a hemorrhage. Oh, I was thinking German herp, but that's oh, cool too. It's good enough. <laughs> Close enough. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That or Dutch elm disease. It's a German you ready? herp. Born ready. All right. He that's wasn't even waiting for the answer. Nope, I wasn't even going to wait for the <laughs> answer. Son of a. Not the f- oh, God. Let's hope I get a good roll because this could be disastrous. <laughs> you could spend something for it. I That's could, JK, but just a 53 on 100 is going to be a yellow. A 53 on 100 is going to be a yellow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fenris, I need a psyche roll. <laughs> Does your psyche fracture? Exactly. You know, if you put your dices on zeros, you train them better. We have a cast about that. What would you roll? 65 on a 50. Which is a? Yellow. That's a yellow. Okay. The uh, <laughs> Your brain does not implode. Yay. Your brain does not implode. Huzzah. You, all of a sudden, you see the throne room as though you were plastered on the ceiling of oh. the throne room. Oh. You see that. Jesus. You blink a couple of times, and it flashes in front of you. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Every time you close your eyes, you see the throne room as though your eyes are open. You open your eyes back up, and you see both. One image laid over the top of the other. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, close your eyes. That's a wise move. Ta-da. All righty. All right. Uh, we are good. Let's do a uh, whirlwind to try to blow out the torches. How many torches are there? Are you going down? There are there are 12 torches. Okay. Are you going down before he drops ionization? Nope. No, I'm not going to go down until the torches go out. Okay. Okay. All right. Because if they see a, a shadow slithering down from the scene, they're going right. to notice that. Well, sure. That's the thing. So... Okay. When if and when the whirlwind works, I'll need you to let me know. Then I can end my remote sensing, mm-hmm. and then you can reionize the floor, and then I can grab the axe handle. Cool. I'll give you. I'll give you the one finger salute that you're good to go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> He's like one moment. We're That's fantastic. number one. Yeah, we are the champions. Okay. Right. So, so now you're going to do your whirlwind. Correct. <laughs> okay. There are twelve torches. That is going to be a three column shift penalty. Of course it is. You are going to need a yellow feet to take them all out in one blow. I, I imagine you don't want to go puff, 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 puff. What's more dramatic? No. No. Yeah, yeah, right? That would be one at a time to watch them click across the room and get everybody nice and paranoid before things go crazy. That's okay. With the fact that you're doing this through cosmic awareness and not your own senses, you're going to need one feet rank higher. So instead of needing a yellow, you need a red. I hope you've got... Well, <laughs> what level is your whirlwind? What level is your whirlwind? Not enough. Oh, <laughs> no, what, what level is 50? Your level is right, 50, so, so we've gonna, got three column shifts, so yeah, we're going to go gonna be casting 50, 40, 30, 20. 20. Okay. So he went from here to here. You need a 95 to 97, bro. I, I, I'm going to have to spend karma on that. All right. <laughs> There's no way. You just spent 10. Give me a roll. You, are you shooting for a red, I take it? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. 77. Yeah, that's not bad. You only need to spend, spend another 20 more. Yeah, so that's 30 total. That ain't bad. And the whirlwind. Woof, and the I, torches go out. As I flip Guardian Angel off to give him the single. Excellent. Give me a Thank psyche roll. Oh, Jesus. Don't snap, bro. Not good. 36 on a 50. What is that? Not good. <laughs> not good. Now. Green. 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 Very good. All right. Okay. All right. You give me the one finger salute? I do. I end the remote sensing and the cosmic awareness. He end, You end it? Slowly. I ease him out of it. Okay. I was just going to be like, you turn it off. Okay. All right. You're going to ease him out of it. I'm going to slowly. I need um, a psyche roll from you. No. Oh, and a psyche roll from you as he ends it. If, I, if I'm successful in this, can I, do, can I try one more action? Before it, dep- he... it depends on the action. I got a 99 on a 100. You're good. 62 on a 50. You're good. All right. What's your last action you, before the remote sensing goes away? I was going to duplicate the queen. <laughs> Is this wrong? Do it. Roll it. You okay. said you're going to do it. Do it. Okay. That's how many times? Five, six, one. I, I can eight. go to seven. Seven. Do it. No, seven no, no. Times. Uh, All over the throne. Eight. Seven times. <laughs> seven times. Okay. He said it. Are you going to do it seven times? Yes. Okay. 
don't listen to me. Don't, why, why are you listening to Jimmy Boy? Hey, I'm yeah. sorry. No, he's listening to Dan at this point. He really yeah. should do that. Yeah, hey, yeah right. <laughs> no, it didn't happen. <laughs> he's all like, and? Oh. No, duplication on a 75. I, I did a 70. He rolled so low. No. That there's no. only half a queen now. <laughs> the, no. the queen just went. <laughs> just like, no. Okay. Easiest liposuction ever. Yeah. Nice. The, so you, the so ideas I was going to plant were going to be interesting. I just want you to know. Nice. But anyway, okay. that's fantastic. It. Yeah. Okay, and suddenly, poof, you're back in your own body. Okay, cool. Open my eyes. Okay. All right, you're up. <laughs> Ionize the floor. What? Ionize the floor. Not not the whole floor, just a small section of it. Yeah, uh, ninety eight. <laughs> okay. It. What are you What are you ionizing? Uh, same so, same hole that was below us, so he okay. can sl- sl- uh, slink through. Okay. And what are you doing? I am going to slither down whilst two dimensional to wrap around the the axe head and come back up. Let's to not the get ceiling. too far ahead of ourselves. You're going to slither down the wall to the axe head, right? Or through the through the hole. Through the, the hole. Floor. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're sitting in the throne room. <gasps> the what? Uh, the <laughs> troops are assembled before you. They have just finished discussing the uh, need to expedite the potential torture or revi- uh, reinvigoration of the prisoner and how that will eventually lead them to the doorstep once more of Asgard, which they must... We, they must, as frost giants, attack, destroy, and overwhelm the Asgardians. This is a thing that we have to do. They had just finished up that when all of the torches go out. This doesn't, uh, given the items that I, the abilities that I gave you on your sheet, mm-hmm. um, especially, I think it's the last one or the second to the last one. Um, anything, yes, anything that is made of ice is granted that ability. Okay, so if it's ice in the castle, you're fine. So, all the torches go out. The, you get the opportunity. Uh, it doesn't bother you at all. You're like, oh, all right, because the ceiling and the floor and two, two of the walls are all made out of ice. So you're fine. Um, there suddenly begins to creep from above you to the point that like you, you like the blue glow of the ice is you're like oh look okay it might as well be daytime it doesn't really matter the torches <laughs> were all ornamental anyhow uh. it, it's not a thing um, the the hue of the ice above you with your ice vision shifts there's a shadow that's moving that shouldn't be Damn it. you slide through the hole uh, and uh. down the wall and literally like half the guards and the queen go what as you moved. And we can't see this at all unless we just stick our head through. The <laughs> you can't, and he can't. But you do notice that, like, granted you're a shadow and you can't immediately be made out as a humanoid form yet. There's just not enough of you through and you're, you're, you're not down to grab and shift and do a thing yet. But, like, you moved. The room is dark. You can't, like, you should not be able to be seen. But, like, enough of you slides out of the hole that it might have been obvious if the lights had been on. And everybody looks at you like the lights are on. They're like, it's almost like the lights are on. (laughs) Well, you win some, you lose some. Shh. (laughs) What are you doing? Um, I'm going to try and get that axe head. Okay. As quickly as I humanly the can. The shadow go like pauses for just to, like enough to go. Oh shit! And then begins to slide further quickly down the wall. Who invited the vermin? Ice manipulation trap. Against okay. The wall? All right. Uh, give me a roll on percentiles. Excellent. Um, your, uh, what's the what's the power rank of your ice manipulation? Seventy-five. Okay, you're going to roll on a seventy-five. Okay. What do I want? Uh, you want at least a green. I rolled Where'd it, it go? off the table because I'm an idiot. No, it's all good. What'd you get? 65 out of 75? 65 on a 75? Yellow. Yes. Yeah. That's a yellow. Uh, 75. That is a solid yellow. Yep. 
Yes. Okay. You're, you, you pick up the, Rico, you pick up the pace. You start to slide down the wall quickly. You're like, I'm going to get this thing and be out. The wall itself, being made out of ice, <laughs> reaches out and grab, like forms a cage around you. I think those really ugly chairs from Beetlejuice. Ew. All right, there you go. Hey, Jimmy, can I put you in my hand and put it, put you through the hole again, see what's going on down there? Sure. Okay, sure. Scott, are there any windows in this in this place? Or in this room, I'm sorry. In the room you're in? Yes. No. Okay. It's a storage closet type thing. Gotcha. It's a storage room type thing. Gotcha. I'm going to take Jimmy, put him through the hole again, just to, real quick to see what we can see. Okay. Um, a hand that looks werewolfish. <laughs> yeah. I, I like, got a green to accidentally fall off his hand. What? Are you going to accidentally fall off? Oh. Gosh, you're the worst. Nice. You're the worst um, character ever. I need ever. an intuition roll from you, Queen. Intuition. Very oh, good. this is horrible. Why do we bring him along? For, for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to jump? Oh, my. Gracefully I mean, fall. fall off. Right? I hate you. But it's funny. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> and suddenly the plan comes unglued. Yes, it does. I didn't do that, by the way. No, Yellow. no, no. You didn't. You didn't. Yeah. What's that? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Um, like, you notice that you see something small fall out of his hand. Like, like it looks like a little, little bitty, like this big. Like, half like it's a bu- It's an insect. It's a bu- And it's fall. you're falling straight towards the queen. Okay. Like, you're, you were over the throne, and, like, you're going to land maybe between the two chairs. Okay. He, it's falling towards you. You catch it? Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. I was just like, I didn't know if you were, like, plucking it out of the air. Like, is this? It's like, I'm not touching it. Okay. No, no, no. I have no idea where it's been. Yeah, this is true. All right. Um, you're falling. Mm-hmm. You're falling. Uh, are you going to try to make an agility, like, roll with it? Or are you just going to take the hit? I'll try and roll it. Well, how much damage would I be taking? That's an awful long. Um... It's at least a full story fall, which isn't going to hurt you that much, but you might hurt the floor. Right. That's fine. Okay. That's kind of what I wanted to happen. Okay. All right. Um, well, then just give me a random, just give me a roll. Roll me. Give me a number. 22. 22? All right. That's fine. Um, okay. I it ch- falls between the chairs and hits like a 500-pound just block. And Boom. cracks the floor like, <laughs> like cracks the floor in three different directions. Doesn't go all the way through, but you're like, "Holy crap! What is that?" You're kind of glad you didn't catch it because you don't know where it's been. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Power. Feed. That's what happens when a neutron star falls in your house. <laughs> nice. What what power feed are you now? All you know is Jimmy fell. Yeah, and I'm just like, it's on. It's <laughs> he said it's no, on because two two of my compatriots are. MIA now. Yes. I can't see. No, none of them. So this is what I want to do. All right. I want to jump through the hole. You shrink to shrink myself. Jam my big claws into the side of one of the walls and ionize the floor below me. The entire damn floor. Oh, the entire floor of the throne room? Yes. Okay. Woo! All right. Well, that's several actions. I, I said power fit. I didn't say it was going to happen. I right, said right. it's well, what it was in my head. Right. Well, we're not going to be able to get them all in one go. I think. But we understand that. Okay. You can gladly drop through the floor. Okay, I would like to first drop through the floor. Shrink. Shrink, claws into the And claws into the, the wall. Side. Okay, give me a roll for the shrink activation. 73. Okay. Suddenly, a man-sized, not giant-sized, a man-sized wolf, werewolf, mm-hmm. it could be. Amish. Wolf, Hexenwolf. Yeah. Drops. <laughs> I through love the, this. Are you okay, Margaret? She's role playing. Oh no, I'm sorry. And I went. What does she keep looking at? <laughs> that means she was doing it well. So until you she did because I was looking. I thought Don't she drop saw something. Don't character cut. I'm sorry. I thought she saw something. Margo's <laughs> method. Okay. It was. It was. I thought it was an escalator thing. So a man-sized wolf drops through the ceiling and then disappears. Like it was there. Hey, it's gone. The queen is looking up at the hole you just came through with this perplexed look on her face. You're hooked on the wall. Yep. She's like, what is this? Do I, with the attempt of the power feet, could I try it in the same turn? No. I figured you'd screw me. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So we are now going to make declarations. We are in rounds. 
Uh, what is your declared action? I'm going to ionize the entire floor of the room I am in now. Okay. Rico, what is your declaration? Or do you need to think it through and we'll get Jimmy? How trapped am I? Because I'm like skinny, two-dimensional, slithery right now. Yep. You could take a round and slither and change your orientation, slither around yeah, no, the bars. That's BS. And then I'm just going to supernova this. Um, <laughs> 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 that, that escalated quickly. Well, that, that got that that went. I'm woo. going to I'm going to try and break the ice bars that are nice. that, are, that are around me. So you're going to go from two dimensional to lots of dimensional. Yeah. All right, I get you. All right, Jimmy, what are you going to do? Uh, I need to, I need to break free. I try and find some place with free. decent cover working my way towards the door. <laughs> Which door? The door out. Is the door opposite the throne room past the guys that Whatever's the closest the door. Oh, closest there's door. a door like that's sort of kind of behind the throne-ish. Yeah. But it, that may go deeper into the castle. Whatever. That's like towards the mountain. That's not out. Out. I can find a way out from there. God, your optimism is wonderful. <laughs> okay. So somebody's got to be in this damn situation. So Jimmy's dead. <laughs> so Jimmy's dead. Jimmy's got a gun. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what is your, what is your declared action? Kill it. Purge it with fire. Guards, they're here to rescue the prisoner. Capture them immediately. Really? Alrighty. Let's roll initiative. Ta da. That roll, right w- roll one die. Come on, Rico. Come on, Rico. Get me, get me if I don't. That's what, why that guy rolls. What you roll? A 10 plus oh, 6. I got a 16. You suck. I, I maxed out my initiative Is it just a 10? Margo, roll, roll me a D10. D10. You got to oh. roll a D10. You can't roll it on that. Well, she could, but she's not going to. Nine. All right. You guys go first. You can totally got a plus 5 for initiative. That's okay. They've got a plus 6. It'd be nice if we had a telepathic link. It'd be great. Yeah, it but so we don't. Wouldn't that you suck? You don't it happens. my head. <laughs> So you hear her say, Strange guards, way. arrest them. They're, they're here to rescue the prisoner. Rescue the prisoner. <laughs> All right. You're going right. to go to break out. I need a strength feat. Really? A strength feat? <laughs> oh, no. I, you were going to dark you were gonna, energy? Yeah. You, dark oh, you're energy. just going to dark energy mission? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to puff up and... No, that's silly. That's ridiculous. Why would <laughs> Sorry. <I> <laughs> Why would you do that? What was I thinking? They would know what I look like, and that would be that'd be dangerous for me in the uh, future. This is true. This is true. All right. Um, dark energy emission. Hit it. 98 on a 50? I think that's still Boom. red. Boom. Yeah, that's a red. Boom. Uh, the ice... Uh, the ice... The thing in the Prison, ice. the ice cage, explodes. This wow. dark energy <laughs> pulses once and blows the cage apart. That's and that, that was just to localize and destroy the cage. That wasn't to attack right. any of the right. guards or the queen or anything like that. All right, you're headed behind the throne, Jimmy. Okay. Van Ruiz? I'm uh, really tiny. I move very slow. Yep. Uh, I'm ionizing the whole floor below us. All righty. That's so dangerous. I know. I love it. <laughs> Give me a roll. It's going to go bad. Does that mean we all sink through it? Fall. Well, that's going to mean. Some of you. Well, some of you. <laughs> some of you. Hey, I, 90. <laughs> Got a 90. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. And what's your power level? 90 on a 50. Yeah, that's 90, a uh, right. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. That the is. Frost Giant Warriors. Woo! Yeah, so close. The throne, or I'm sorry, both thrones sink quickly into the ice beneath. And Jimmy goes with and them. And Jimmy goes with them. You're sinking into ice. Sorry, Jimmy. I had nice ice. Ionized ice. Like the floor, you're sinking into the floor. I will give you the opportunity to jump out of your chair if you would like to. This seems like the most prudent course of action. Correct. Give me a roll on your agility. I can't believe you ionized the entire floor. Plan went bad, dude. It did. I'm it's sorry. Just, he's like, it went south. I can't help with that. Point one. You you don't want to know what plan plan B was. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, was it yellow? Okay. You are able to, you notice the queen wades out of her chair as though she's wading through water and manages to walk on the ice you just ionized. Okay, so she's walking. She's not sinking at all. That is correct. Understood. So she's the only one left standing in the room. Gotcha. If that's that's the case, I'm going to drop ionization right where it is there. 
Okay. Your guard, uh, the, the, the 30 soldiers, they're gone. The warriors are in the basement. And it's you alone in the throne room with them. <laughs> Jesus. Round two. Uh, declared action. Duplication. On? The queen, seven. Woo! What? <laughs> Clearly, we have to try it again. What are you... Get the axe here, He's got man. a plan. He's got a plan. He sounds like he's got is. a plan. It's I have fine. no idea I, what I it is. I understand. It's, it's just... Blowing my mind, man. Right. Boom. All right, Rico, what's your declared action? I'm going to grab the axe head. Boom. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to get this done. Jimmy, you fall through the floor. Right. You are falling towards the basement floor. Okay. What you doing? Uh, trying to land gracefully. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting. You don't have enlargement. No, I don't. No, no, okay. I keep forgetting because I thought you were going to. I'm waiting for you to just go, and you're fine. You can't do that. No. I forgot. Did, did you say he fell to the basement? Yeah. You ionized the floor he was standing on. Well, no, no, to the next room. I didn't think that was the basement. I thought we were high up in the castle. Yeah. Oh, we're, okay. Uh, we're a podcast group. Gotcha. Directly beneath the throne room, there is a large chamber. It, there was a trap to send people to the basement. Scott, where already are the there. Gotcha. Where are the carts? Oh, right here. Time out. Right. Yeah, we do a bunch of other stuff. We do interview. We've been interviewing people here from the con and all kinds of fun stuff. Never mind. Um, Hold. Are you out of cards? Yes. No, you had them earlier. Yeah, you should have. You should have given them to me to. That, so that's for a movie. You can take one. I think you can take one. That's for a movie that um, the a direct a friend of ours made. But then you can ignore it after you look at it. Fantastic. That's a movie. Yeah. Yes. That one's already happened. He's like, well, I'll just put that back. It's already <laughs> been. I'm fine. I don't need to play with those. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I fell to the floor. So you're falling through the floor, and you're going to try to land gracefully. Yeah. All right. Can that I, works. Can I land in a martial, can I martial supremacy like thunder drop? <laughs> Superhero landing? Yeah. Like Superhero th- landing? Like thunder, like land. <laughs> but aren't nice. you like super, super small? Yes, super but tiny. they still wave the same amount. Yeah. So it means the PSI that's is weird. much higher. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird to me. It's weird and physics. I, and, I, and I shift into two dimensions, and that's weird. Yeah, to and you're me. like, that's weird. I, I, that, I don't like that. Uh, that makes me uncomfortable. Got a yellow to thunder drop. Nice. Like All a, right, what's your declared action? So I'm going to go ahead and use my ice generation in order to create call it a not so comfortable chair for each of them to be strapped to oh nice okay so there are two of them that you, that you so do you make two chairs or three chairs uh, I see two people yes but do you saw the thing that went <laughs> and broke the floor I don't see that there you go. Okay. You're, you're not visible to oh, me. Yeah. You're on a different floor at this point, and I can't see through that floor, I just even though you it's proactive. Hey, Scott. Yes. I, I, I release from the wall I before I do my it. thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Just curious. Either way. It doesn't matter. All right. Speaking of irrelevant questions. Let's right. roll initiative again. Do I, do I need to roll on my own now? Yes, you do. Okay. I don't know how to do I don't know what my initiative bonus is. What's your agility? 40? 40. Uh, that's a plus two. Okay. Can, I get, uh, can you roll a d10 for me, Rico? No, no, he cannot. You, you I must need to, I need hand a, it to Dan and let him roll. Because I want I his, his filthy paws on your dice, because that's what's going to happen here. Keep your filthy paws. That would be a five total. That would be a five total, see? That could have given it back to you. He's like, I'm not using that. <laughs> <laughs> you are tainted what, what did you roll, Rico? 13. A 13? Okay. And, Margo, you need to roll for me. I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven plus five? It would be 12. Seven plus six. Sonic interference. Uh, yeah. Son of a motherless goat. So... Uh, you leap off the wall. You're going to roll duplication. Yes. Roll. I have to relinquish shrink then if I do that. Yes, you do. So I go back to my normal size. Okay. 42 on duplication, which is a 50. Okay. That's, I believe that's green. I think yes, it's just, that I is. It's barely green. green. Okay. So the werewolf sprouts from the wall. Just and the werewolf is back. Give me, Margo, a psyche roll. Seventy-three of seventy-five. Okay, what was your uh, what was your roll? 
Not that good. A 40, yeah, okay. Four, 42 on a 50. Yours was a green. Hers was a yellow. Yay. All right. You go to duplicate the queen. You feel something tug at your psyche coming from the werewolf as he drops to the floor in front of you. You flea-ridden vermin. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> you ret- you come back to normal form mm-hmm. as you do your, your normal size as you do your thunder bomb. Cool. So it doesn't it's not as, you know, as spectacular as it could have been given the micro compression that would have right. been just like oh my god, supernova. But you come down and mm-hmm. all the warriors that have fallen or landed appropriately seem taken aback by the fact that you just appeared and power bombed the floor right in front of you. Do they fall down? Two thirds of them do, leaving only four members. Two thirds that had landed on their feet are then knocked off their feet mm-hmm. by your thunder bomb. Okay, and there are only four uh, ice giants standing. Are they between me and a door? Oh yeah, yeah. That that hall out behind the thing mm-hmm. is not mirrored in the basement room where you are. Like it's just wall, and hey, the hey Dan, it's out between them. They're at negative three column shifts to hit you. Why? Because you're shrunk. No, not no, anymore. Not anymore. No, that's... You released shrink, right? I had to, yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's uh, fine. Yeehaw. All right. So, that, that, now, that's my resolution next round. As you are falling, mm-hmm. two ice chairs, like, sprawl up from the floor. They look uh, visibly... Uh, you, you you do one and one is two, and you go, oh, those are for us. <laughs> At least I got that. Yeah, absolutely. I think the chairs from Sleepy Hollow with the sharp pointy bits. Oh, no, they don't look like nice chairs. No. No, they're not. They're not. They don't <laughs> look pleasant. Not, oh, for sun, not for Sunday company. That sucks for you, bro. Me? There's two chairs. I'm Dark Force Energy. What do I care about spiky, icy bits? I hate you. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, get the action. He that's, said, hey, get the axe Well, that's my action is just to grab the axe head. All right. So your action is to grab the axe head. Yeah. What's your action, uh, uh, Fenris? Do I need to make a roll to not go prone? Or? Yes. Then I'm going to make a roll. To you can either go face down or and slam your meat into the floor, or you can <laughs> roll to not be prone. I'm going to roll to not be prone. Okay, very good. Uh, Jimmy, what are you doing? What's your next action? Jimmy is going to attempt to run towards the uh, frost giants, causing one to swing, hopefully missing him, trying to make the, bait the guy into swinging at him right. so that he'd hit one of his compatriots while he makes a beeline for the door. Okay. And, young lady, what is your declared action? Uh, the idea is to engage these individuals and understand why they are coming to rescue this prisoner. Absolutely. Okay. All righty. Give me an initiative roll, all three of you, meaning Rico for those two, uh, Jimmy and, uh, or I'm sorry, Dan and Margot. Can I get a dice? A die. A die. 14. Three. Three? Seven. Woo! All right, you have the opportunity to snatch Fenris out of the air as he's falling toward. You could just take a step forward and grab him. Yeah. Let's okay. Do that. Then uh, we're yeah. we're doing. She's doing a grapple on you. Understood. So energy vampirism. Hey, hey! <laughs> that was not his declared action. He's trying to keep his meat off the floor. <laughs> what do you need? Where did I needed the, one of those blue charts in front of right you, next you to use? There it is. That's the one. Um, on grapple, which is right beneath my finger. Oh. I'm, I'm just happy the screaming has stopped. I hate the app. It makes me happy. Why do you hate the app? It's not random. You don't. You can still roll and enter the die roll to save you the time of looking it up on yeah. the paper. Yeah, and that's I could just look it up on the paper. Or, yeah, I after I roll my real dice, I like that. You I can like still the roll the real dice. You don't. That's not going away. It was an eighty-nine. It was an Out eighty-nine. Out of one hundred and fifty. Nice. Eighty-nine on on a one fifty. She's correct. super strong, but I guess she is a, a frost giant. Yes, she is a frost giant, right? So there's she's got shift X strength. Okay. <laughs> I get two column shifts for evading because of some specialties. 
That's about it. You do? That's about it. And it was an 89. Oh, no. She snatches you out of the... Just... No test? Are you you grabbing him? How... Okay, you fell off the wall. How are you going to dodge? I... (laughs) <laughs> You're in the middle of the air. You know what? The answer is 100% no if you don't ask. Right? <laughs> Come on. You wriggle around on the way down, and you're, like, falling right at her. All right. Um, she, I, will give you, I will give you the opportunity to roll to where she's not just going to catch you up by the neck. <laughs> That's nice. But it's more fun if I do. It is. It's a 41. That's okay. Not, not All right. Good. She catches just thump. She reaches up. She's got you by the neck. Gotcha. <laughs> so your action, you, you pluck him out of the air. You're like, whatever. Stop squirming, little one, and you might continue to breathe. Soliloquy? Sure. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for my next action. Okay. <laughs> you are slithering down the wall. It will take one more action to get to and wrap up the, the axe head. You're like, boom. <laughs> And you're you're there, but now you need to wrap it up before you can move it anywhere. Oh well, I'm gonna stop slithering at this point and stop being two dimensional. Uh, what? I was two dimensional. Yeah. I was I stretched yeah. myself super thin. I'm going to right. stop being super thin. Right. Guardian Angel will be there in all of his glory and splendor. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. I'm done being skinny and and slithery. And slithery. Yeah. All right. All right. Sneaking is over. Yeah, sneaking's over. Oh, sneaking is over. It's That's over. what that translates into. Okay, I got that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I was like, I had no idea. I thought we were still being sneaky. Get the axe head. Do whatever it is you're going to do next. I don't know. Um, behind you, by the behind the throne, is like a wall of we- wall of weapons, like all kinds of weapons. Just there happens to be an axe head up there too. Um, there's a couple axe heads up there actually. Uh, Jimmy boy, uh, give me a roll on agility, Can and you may add martial supremacy. Add it, as in column shift. Add because I've got forty and forty. So what does that put me at? So that means forty is how many column shifts? I don't know. We'll look it up on the look thing. Look at the one, chart. One, two, Wait. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would put me at three thousand. <laughs> what? Uh, no. All right. No. I'm sorry. I missed that. Divided by. I'm sorry. Divided by two. So add two. Add two more column. Or add four more column shifts to that. You put me at one fifty. There you go. Okay. You are. You recover from your thunder bomb. Mm-hmm. And they have not. Okay. So they go to the first guy goes to swing at you, and you're trying to maneuver him. I'm, into I'm trying to do some buddy. Jackie Chan level, right? Right. And you're you're using your martial supremacy. Mm-hmm. You're trying to maneuver him into hitting his bro, mm-hmm. and therefore you get to roll your success on right. 150, not gotcha. your standard. Okay. That's where this becomes really, really brutal. 39 green. Nice. You, you Jackie Chan him, and he <laughs> cold cocks his buddy in the face mm-hmm. with an ice armored gauntlet that Ooh. just Boom. tears his face open and leaves him just laying in a crumpled heap on the floor. Uh. You blow right past the guy. You've got two guys between you and the door. Okay. Other people are getting their hands and feet and starting to move towards getting up. Right. Nice. Next round. Ooh. Declared action. Fenris. Energy vampirism. Oh, you suck. Declared action. You're coming out of your, your you're going to appear, you're going to fall to the floor. You know that, right? Because you're not on the He's wall. Unless you, fly, unless you fly. I have true flight. I don't walk. <laughs> well, I know you, he doesn't walk. He, he established this before. He walks yeah, we nowhere. He yeah. went from guardian ostrich to guardian. I don't know. Something flies. <laughs> <laughs> something that flies. I don't know. Angel. Guardian lighter it's than angel. Angel. It's Guardian angel. Guardian vulture. Whatever. Guardian don't lighter than air. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't walk Guardian on the helium. Because yeah. he makes silly. you talk funny. Cause, yeah, because he goes, me, me, me. I can't even do it. I got to lose. Oh, my. So I'm just going to grab the axe handle. The axe head. Axe head. Yeah, okay. sorry. Axe as, you, as you just float there? Yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't know. I, again, I didn't know if you were going to engage the ice queen on the, on the oh, floor what? who's holding Fenris. Oh, what? No, that's stupid. Are you? No. Oh, okay. You, so you didn't come out to go, I am guardian angel and you have my, hey, my fellow brother in, the, in th- arms. This is a that, distraction. And you can't engage oh. her. She's already married. Oh, okay. All right. There, there's a thing. All right. Well, I didn't know. Um, ice you queen, know what is married? your going, action going to be? Declared action, that is. You skipped me. 
No, I didn't. Oh, no, I you didn't. just. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna stop and do a jig, <laughs> tab dance, or no. you're still heading for the door. Yes, but I was going to have. A different oh, oh, okay. Well, then I'll get to you in just a second because I did skip you. I apologize. <laughs> Dan's he, feelings are hurt. It's chopped liver. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm gonna lick an ice giant as I go by. <laughs> God. Robots don't have feelings. <laughs> Robots don't have feelings. Tell that to the one on uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh. Robots. Oh, oh. Hey. don't talk about okay. Marvin that way. Marvin, poor oh. Marvin. So. What's your, uh, Margo, what's your declared uh, action there? So I'm going to go ahead and use ice manipulation to create a prison where I will drop him Boop. and the ice will close around him so oh, he no longer breathes. Igloo of oh, doom. Igloo of doom. Oh, that's horrid. All right, and Jimmy, what's your declared action? So I'm going to pretend like I'm going to do the same thing. Right. And then do like the, the double knee slide. Underneath God. it, as he goes, <laughs> like, oh, I know what he's going to do. No, or is it, or alternatively, is there a wall close enough where I could jump up on the wall, kick off, and go over? No. Okay. No, then, you're yeah. still in the middle of the roomish. <laughs> yeah. No parkour this turn. No. Right. Not, no. Next turn, you'll be close enough to a wall that you can parkour. It'll Maybe trip one on the way through. No. No. Nah, well, they're not actively running at you. You're actively running at them. They're yeah, kind of waiting for you. But only 500 pounds. I don't know. Whatever. That's yeah, fine. We'll go there. I mean, you want to try to double knee through under their feet? Yeah. And then kick the feet out from under them. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that would. Let's be. all roll initiative. Rico, roll well. All right, seven. You keep going for the edge of that table, Margo. Stop edging, Margo. Just commit. Margo has to be edgy. That's the thing. That's like her thing. She's not the same. We can't hear you when you're not on mic. That's okay. Don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fourteen again. Same initiative. Fourteen. Okay. okay. Rico, what'd you guys roll? Thirteen. Thirteen? Jamie Boy? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Jamie Boy is all over it. Okay. <laughs> Fenris, she Total dro- combat character. She drops you to the floor. Oh. As she drops you to the floor, ice encompasses like <sighs> you are in a block of ice. Five feet by five feet. Five by five. Thanks for the catch, Queenie. In the pipe. Five by five. All right. Yep. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and from the wall has sprung a, how, how tall? Seven. Seven, seven foot, tall. foot tall angel made of black dark force energy. So still shorter than me. We're, yeah, shorter yeah. than you. But, okay. but, impre- but, but by human standards, that's impressive. Yeah. She pats him and on floating. the head. Uh, that's so cute. <laughs> Giant black obsidian wings, a gold breastplate. There is a sense of the divine as the humans would have it expressed. Is your scythe out? No, not yet. No, not yet. And it floats there in midair and reaches out and grabs the axe head, uh, one of the axe heads off the wall. Not one of, I know which one it is. I know you're grabbing the one you want to grab. I get that. I get that. But there's like three, and you went, you didn't just go and pick any weapon. You went, Whoop. That one. You were deliberate. Kay. She's just, it's like it's one of the axe heads. A specific one, but one of. Do I lose my Do I lose my turn? No. I didn't know. You just get to change your action. Okay. And there's, you know, penalties and all that involved in the, the thing. No, Are no. you going to try to vampire me through the ice floor somehow? He doesn't but she lets contact. go of you. He what? can try. She lets go of you through the thing. So no, you're not no, going to have contact. Yeah. No, no, okay. no. Okay. And you, yeah. So it just shifts. That's fine. Yeah. Or you can take a one column shift penalty and do something different, which you want me to do. Which I, I don't understand. C- it's up to you. Uh, I'm not the one that needs air to breathe in this situation. No, no, you do. I will do ionization on the igloo to get out of it. Okay, breathing or you or you can or you yeah, can use right? that other thing. Who breathes? Which other? Definitely thing? not robots and angels. That's for <laughs> darn sure. Well, that that power you don't ever get to use. Oh. Energy vampirism. No. Wow. Water freedom. Oh, there you go. But I know what it did to me last time, and it was... It made you it, cold. It was sort of a... <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, it made you cold. whoop de doo right. <laughs> He's like, I was cold. I yeah. wish I was a demigod and was minorly <laughs> inconvenienced <laughs> by being cold for just a second. Says the archangel <laughs> in golden breastplate yeah. and seraphim wings. Does anyone else see the hypocrisy? Because this guy loves water freedom. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's throw caution in the wind. Let's make some bad decisions. Let's see what happens. Right. That's how you get experience. 
<laughs> yeah. And there it is. Or as, as long as surpri- you live. surprise sex without the lube. <laughs> <laughs> One of the Wait, hold on. So there we yeah, have it. That's, it's that noise. That's where that comes from. I'm glad from. you went a little away from the mic. Right, me too. <laughs> that would have been obscene. Yeah. Shame JC isn't here. He'd have loved that. Yeah, he would have. That's his thing. Uh, that's f- f- I have an idea, and I hope... <laughs> no, no, no idea. No. I no ideas are hope, coming out. I no. hope your thing Just do works. it. Just do no. it. No. <laughs> My don't, thing. Don't discuss it. Just do it. Okay. All right. So we had... Who won the initiative? You won initiative. Yeah, she, she beat us by one. She beat us by one. All right. And what were you doing? What was your declared action again? I'm sorry. I put him in the ice block. Oh, yeah. you did. Yeah, she drops you in the ice block. Kay. I mean, I'll take another action if you want to give me no, one. No, I don't want to give you one. Uh, no? Really? No, no, I don't. So water no. freedom to walk right. through it, get through Okay, it. you drop him into the block, and the block of ice goes <laughs> around him, and you're like, ah, 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 and you look up. He walks out of the ice. Ha, 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 Queenie. Like, walks <laughs> out. Like, right, that's the correct response. What the? F- <laughs> like, because you go to look up, and you're like, wait, what? A guardian angel. <laughs> and he, uh, Fenris just walked through. And you're like, oh, he's Fenris. he's gonna be he's gonna be cold. Mm. <laughs> All right, G A. All right, I have the axe head. <laughs> you do, yeah. You reach over, you pull it off the wall. Take the other two. Can I see him? Yeah. I'm gonna summon my scythe and affix the axe head to it. What? He stole it. He stole my <laughs> precious. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, um, I hate you. Wow, I don't know what to... Okay, Hello, all right. right. Turn it, Albuquerque. Yeah, that I'm wasn't... The, yeah, I did not the, see that coming the, the at handle, all. The handle of the scythe, I'm going to put through the head of the axe where the hole is and affix the axe head to my scythe. I have a plan. Calm down. Is no. it... Is Okay. Is the, ac- is the axe head on the bottom or the top? Wait, wait. Yeah. Stop. So, what if it that's corrupt- the first question. Yeah. What if it corrupts your scythe? Are you putting <laughs> the axe head... <laughs> On the bottom of the handle of your scythe, or are you trying to fit it on the top with uh, the scythe blade? No, not where the, the plate side? is. Up on through the through, through the bottom. Through the bottom. Up, uh, yeah, up. up oh, to you're going to slide blade. it up yes. up to the blade. Next thing, what's the orientation of the blades? Are they the same direction? It's are irrelevant. Dire- well, okay, that because I don't know what the hell you're going to do with it, so it might or might not be irrelevant. What? She said she'd be right back. Oh, okay, so it it might or might not be relevant. So I'm not it's, exactly. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's, it's a, irrelevant. It's a, irrelevant. The orientation of the blades is irrelevant. So then, what are you, okay? You, you have you have thrown me for a loop on this one. You I know, right? You could have be awesome. Just wait. You could have thrown it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you could have here. Whoop. Yeah, that's the thing that could have happened. Um, I'm gonna do that with my scythe, but it's on my scythe because I can control dark force energy. Ooh. I can control the arc and the height and the way it goes to away from the queen. Let me tell you. I had a plan. Wait, wait. Hey, okay, so you, you slide, slide it shit? up. Time out, time out, time out. The only reason I was worried is because what I know about this Axe Atta character is it could corrupt your whole scythe. And well, too anyway. late. So No, anyway. it's not. It's That's dark fantastic. force energy. I, just, I summon a new scythe every time I summon a scythe. It's not the same scythe. Jesus. That's fantastic. <laughs> there, there's some pocket dimension that's just full of scythes. Full of scythes that is just sitting there. No, I, okay. I make them out of Dark Force energy. I am Dark Force that's energy. That's not nearly as funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there. But, hey, good luck, bro. So the, so the scythe is Guardian Angel. Yeah, it's an extension of me. So it can it's, corrupt you. You slide the axe head up the scythe handle and it curves the, and lodges right by the blade. And we have penetration, folks. Yes, we do. Yes. And then I guess we got to wait for Margaret to get back before our next round. What are you doing next? Well, no, I, Jimmy I boy's going. I got baby. stuff to oh, do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jimmy's got stuff to do. Tons of stuff. You go in, give me an agility roll. Just straight agility? Uh, no, with your 150. At, okay. sh- at 150. <laughs> Boom. Welcome back, Margo. 95 red. 95 yeah. red. You go in, you feign left, you feign right at full speed. He's ready for you. Yeah. He goes, nope, nope, swing oh, as you, you drop ticket, to your knees ready for an event. and you low cut, just chop block this guy <laughs> right off his feet. He takes, you, you notice as his chin hits the, hits the stone floor, mm-hmm. which is slick with ice, you see the bones of his chin crush in yeah, as he move takes really far. face to the floor, and it's 
horrible. I mean, it's just, I mean, you see his face cave in yeah. as he just faced it. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like telescoping chin. That's not a thing. Is that a power? Oh! It's Frost Giants. They got weird anatomy. Yeah, it's going to be bad. It's pretty darn horrible as a whole. Mm-hmm. And then uh, out the door. If and it's then open. out the door. Absolutely. If the door's not open, I will, will open it. Yes. Oh, no, it's open. Okay, good. Just wanted to clarify. Absolutely. I didn't ask that earlier. I right. Just, really, like, I just run into the door. <laughs> really? Wham! Bam! And we're done. Oh. Jimmy wakes up in a cell. No. <laughs> All right, Rico. In an initiative? Uh, we need a declared action. Oh. I am going to throw the Dark Force Energy Scythe to Fenris. Um, but I put it on the scythe so I could use Dark Force Energy to control to keep it out of the reach of the Queen. Okay. Yeah. That way I could direct the, the path of where it goes to get to Fenris safely. I'm just imagining the glaive. You know? Right, right. I was thinking of the, the May chakra I? from Xena, Warrior Princess. Nice. Mm. May I make a an assumption? Sure. That you're going to both guide it away from the queen and guide it so that when Fenris goes to grab it, he's not grabbing any sort of blade? Yep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're just like, I throw it at him. And then make sure she can't catch Stick. it. Stick. Okay. She I doesn't catch it, it but it's, it's in my you know. Chest. Yeah, it's, yeah it's in his yeah, in sucking numbers, chest. Right? You know, that's what I heard about really with football. Tired right, hit him in the numbers. Such a but sissy I know, because <laughs> what he's going to say is you're a demigod, you caught it, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, You'll demigod. be fine. Right. You'll walk it off. What did I miss? What's going on? How are we declaring doing? actions. <laughs> oh, so he's throwing his scythe at you. Yeah, he's throwing his scythe at you. By way of Albuquerque. <laughs> You'll notice the axe head is now on his scythe. I'm supposed to catch the dark force energy. Or you can catch the axe handle bit, whatever. Head. Head. Yeah. The head. part with the sharp bits. Yeah. Yeah. What's I your declared action, Fenners? Catch it. Not to die. Uh, I'm going to try. Good one. I'm going to try to catch the axe head. All right. This All right. Is Young lady? It's going to go horribly wrong. It will. Since clearly the ice doesn't hold Thanks, him, Jimmy. but my hands seem to. Yeah. I'm going to pick that little jerk back up and break both of his legs. Nice. Why? <laughs> what? Stop running, <laughs> little one. I'm not running. I walked. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the catch, We Queenie. don't run indoors, okay? We don't run indoors. <laughs> run on ice, I dare you. No, oh, you kill that's, like that's what I was scissors. hoping was going to happen. Okay, I think my distraction's working. Now it's time to help. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm helping. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jimmy boy, you're out in the hall. Okay. Uh, you're about to have 30 angry ice giants on your... Intuitive direction? So. Yeah, give me a, yeah, you'll have to give me an intuit roll. Everybody roll me initiative. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I intuited it at a 96. Oh, yeah. That was your initiative roll, right? No, you said to intuit. All right, you did. All right, I'll take that. And I got a 10. What do we get? What do we get, Guardian Angel? We got an 11. Okay. We have a 12. Oh. And really, isn't it 28? <laughs> no, be quiet. <laughs> Okay, you do into it that the stairs at the end of the hallway should take you back up to the main. It's a spiraling staircase that goes up. Okay. They're going to be able to see you and maybe shoot at you or throw at you. You don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> well, I'll at least have the high ground, and my sword arm will be free if I had a sword because all stairwells go counterclockwise. Exactly. Very good. It's about a sword. Never knew. That. Do they really? Yeah. So the the upstairs defenders have their sword arm free. Huh. To hack at the downstairs defenders. Huh. Defend, downstairs defenders, downstairs attackers. <laughs> that sounds like an excellent euphemism. I think I've, I think I've seen that movie, the downstairs attackers. <laughs> All right, you throw your uh, you throw your scythe right at Fenris, just right at his face. <laughs> Give me a, another grapple roll <gasps> to grab Fenris. Mm-hmm. Here's what's gonna happen. She's gonna grab you. And then the frost giant slaying axe handle is going to go right into her head. effing wrist. Head. Head. Axe head. That's like your... Jesus. Roll. Are you going to dodge her attempt to grab you? You do what you want, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping like you. Like he threw you the axe and you're like, you see it coming. She's grabbing your ass. I'm going to evade. I'm going to evade. All right. Roll me dodge. 
Roll well. <laughs> Thanks. I have faith in you. I don't. Do good. Oh. I believe go. in you. Here you go. Here's. He's got another. He's got an, another <laughs> set over there, doesn't he? You mean agility, mm-hmm. not dodge. I believe dodge is a thing on there that uses agility. Is it not? On the look yeah. on the graph. Yeah. So agility. Yes. And I get two column shifts for evading because. Of that, that is correct. Yeah. So I'm at. Shift X. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Roll well. I need ven- I need energy vampirism like whoa. Ninety one. What was yours? Uh, eighty seven. All right. She comes a hair's breadth from grabbing your ass again. She rolled the red as well. Yeah. yeah. Your red was a little bit better. Your red was a little bit better. Slightly. Ooh. And you went. Wah! And you you get a chance to catch his scythe. Scythe. No, no, the axe head, not the scythe. Don't touch the dark force. The axe head. Good. Wanted to make sure you were making that distinction because if you didn't, you're like, all right, just grab that scythe. Ah! <laughs> take two, but Zark. Take two hundred points of damage. You know, something. yeah, something it's like not that. that much. It would have been that much. Plus. Oh wait, yes, because it's an edge weapon and, and it's it thrown it. edge. And yeah, like plus four column shifts. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, that would have sucked. The, ne- the <laughs> next time, nice to have if this is you helping next time, we need to reevaluate. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have the axe head, aren't you? I think. Well, Quit your you better catch it. <laughs> Agility, please. All right. Can wait, I, are we are we in next I, rounds? No, wait, he's going to try to catch it. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do this, mm-hmm. I, I have karma. Okay. You have to declare it. Well, uh, 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 so here's the deal. I'm sorry. I've never played it before. I'm sorry. I understand that. I understand that. If you wish to use karma, and I, I recognize it will not help this roll, that's nah. unfortunate. The first thing you need to say is you must say, I want to spend karma. Okay. When you say, I want to spend karma, two things happen. You spend 10 karma just saying it. Okay. That's like the price of admission. That's like the, the price of charge. admission, right? That's the Annie. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Annie. And it is for your next die roll. Okay. So if you say, I'm going to jump off the stairs, do a backflip, and then shoot the guy as he runs away. Sure. And I say, okay, we'll roll to do the backflip and land, and then shoot him. And you say, I want to spend karma to shoot him. Your next die roll is the flip, not the shoot. So uh... if you want to spend karma again for the shoot, the next die roll. Yeah. You okay. will be spending karma on. Because okay. there's sometimes okay. it takes, like, he went... To grab, you grabbed him so he dodged, so he evaded. He got the opportunity to evade. That was the next die roll, not the catch. His declared action was, I catch the axe blade, but that's not his next roll. Okay. So if he said, I'm going to catch the axe blade, I want to spend karma. And then I said, okay, well, initiative goes, she's going to grab you. Do you want to evade? Well, yes, you're now spending karma to evade. Yeah, I would have blown it on that. Uh... And of course, then again, you could have on the next roll been like, "I would like." I to want to spend karma. karma again, but yeah. there's yeah. another ten, and you're now spending more. And then for every, and we don't wh- get wherever you take the roll to. Like if you roll a one and you want it at a ninety nine, you have to spend ninety eight karma to get it there. Yeah. Right. Sure. And if you so b- it, if you blow up planets, you lose all karma. Remember that. Yeah. If you kill any, well, her rules are slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> a Slight bit. morality shift for ice yeah. giants. A little, yeah. little shift. So <laughs> if you kill a bunch of people like a planet, you'll lose all your karma. That seems fair. Right. Or maybe half a planet. It's somewhere in that range. Somewhere. If you just kill an enemy, for ice giants, it's really not that bad. Yeah. That's okay. their thing. They're All used told. to that. Yeah, they're, I think that's, since it was so close, it would be like, be. oh, oh I think. this sucks because oh. I don't want to okay. fight this ice giant. Right, and I don't okay. want to fight this frost giant queen because Margot's playing the frost giant. <laughs> It's fear. That's real life it fear. Is. That's I awesome. don't. I don't you wanna... should whip her ass. No, I go. don't. I don't want to get in a fight with an ice giant. Frost giant. A frost giant. Whatever. Shut up, Dan. Hey. <laughs> with the axe handle hey. head. Hey. Mr. Hey. I am on the floor below not even doing anything to help. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> I, am, I am distracting the guards. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> true. Damn good job That's of true. it. That's true. That, he, is, he is doing that. Rico, that is truth. If what? your plan would have worked, we never would have fought anybody. <gasps> Just so. <sighs> Maybe you should come up with better plans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. are you going to oh, roll baby. to catch that axe handle? <laughs> Say it again. Are you going to roll to catch that axe handle? I thought I just did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, no, I did. It was a 54 on a 75, and that's a yellow. Okay. Oh, he can evade and take an Oh. Right. Okay. He reaches up, spin, 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 shift. Rico strains visibly. Okay. Rico raises an, eye, an eyebrow, and it curves in its direction, and the axe handle lands in his uh, hand. Or, I'm sorry, the axe head lands in his hand. Can I insert it? Can I go for the penetration yet? 
And that'll do us tonight for Gaming with Scott. Thank you for listening to us, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you'll hear from us real soon. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Bye. Deuces. And that's it tonight for us on the Gaming with Scott podcast. You can always send us an email at gamingwscott at gmail.com or catch us on Twitter. Josh Elliott is at Asmoday369. Dan is at Malkware. Josh Jackson is at ActionJack853. And Rico is at R1C0. Me, Scott T, at GamingWScott. This is a Southgate Media production. Remember, be the superhero you always wanted to see in the world. And as always, you will be hearing from us real soon.